naman to see kung sino ang nandito na joining us in our principles of scaling and once again my name is Love Ravina the talent engagement and development program head of Ripple Kids Educational Services Incorporated and you got it right I will be your host once again for today's principles of scaling there you go thank you thank you so much to those who left their comments and zoom and even in our facebook live hello hello paul thank you thank you once again and of course it is always with honor to welcome everyone in ceo insights asia executive series the principles of scaling as you all know it friday is pos day thank you everyone hello hello It's my first time to actually look at the Facebook Live. So, ang saya plan tignan yung mga heart reactions. So, please keep them coming. Anyway, so, just to our quick recap or review, no, a reminder to everyone, why do we do our POS every Friday, every week, very consistent? Because we want my fellow CEOs to install DNA principles that scale organizations. Basically, in CIA, we help build institutions for legacy beyond simply making money. And you know, our goal in POS is for everyone, literally everyone joining us, watching this live, to have at least one key takeaway that you can immediately apply in your organization. So, If you're all set and ready to get that one key takeaway, please comment. Take away in our comment section. And let's always take part and engage really in our POS. Take away yun. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Great. So this time, as you know, we started with October last week. no, And our focus for the month of October is missional. And our theme is actually about leadership. So what is missional? Missional, as shared earlier, we help build institutions for legacy beyond simply making money. And three key points about missional. Number one, we operate in excellence. Number two, progressing in experience. And number three, thinking in generations. So, if you are with us in this focus, missional, of course, leave a comment in our chat box or comment section. Missional! Ayun, there you go. Thank you, thank you so much. All right. And of course, let me share with everyone. I know that you're as ecstatic as I am to dive into our discussion for today. But before that, let me share first the overview of our topics for the entire month of October. Last week, week one, with Serfa, we talked about leading with different hats, the architect. This week, that's today, we are going to talk about leading with different hats, the operator. And next week, we have leading with different hats, the talent multiplier. And you might be wondering, sana hindi na kayo nag-wonder, bakit tatlong weeks lang? Because week four is like a serious break for our POS because we have our CEO Summit by the fourth week of October. And I'll share more about that later on. So if you are ready, 
let's go to our announcements. For today, I just have two major announcements to share with everyone. And the first is about our circle meeting. So please comment, circle meetings. Because right now in CIA, we have 40 plus CEO executive circle members unlocked with more than 30 companies and brands. Amazing! And of course, we have our multiple circle meetings happening from and with our different circle multipliers for men, women, and even for couples. So if you want to become an executive member of CEO Insights Asia, please check the sign-up link that will be sent by our operator. And please take note, our membership fee is 15000 annually with one executive pass for our CEO Summit. So you still have time. Makakahabol pa. If you pay 15000 now you'll get one executive pass for our CEO Summit. So please grab this opportunity. There you have it. The link is sent. And now let's go to our second announcement. For me personally, for the month of October, this is one thing that I have been looking forward to because it's been confirmed that I can join you in our CEO Summit happening this month already from October 28 to 29, 2022 at Novotel Manila. Woo! So if you're excited, please comment CEO Summit in our comment section because I'm really excited to meet everyone personally. It's my first time. Okay, anyway, <laughs> now let me present, of course, our official list of faculties. Of course, we have our CIA founders. We have Sir Juan Paulo Hilario of Labor, Waxing Philippines, of course, with Sir BK Rivera of Sellers Hub, and Shempre, hindi mo awala, Sir Fa of Fire Hernando Executive Advisory. And along with them are the following faculties. We have Steve C. of Great Deals E-Commerce Corporation, Marvin Galang of One Tax, Catherine Castro of Beppo, we also have Kim Lato of Kim Store, Celine Yu of Chevrolet Philippines, and no other than Paco Magsaysay of Carmen's Best Ice Cream. Oliva Jump Pack with the best faculties and speakers for our CEO Summit just for everyone joining us in the CEO Summit. And in addition to that, ladies and gentlemen, we also have a gala night on our first night. And the very purpose of this is to allow everyone, to give everyone the opportunity to build more connections. Please take note po, the people joining our CEO Summit are actually CEOs, business leaders from different industries who are also looking for or want to build more connections. Let's really grab this opportunity. And to do that, my dear CEOs, please get your talks and gowns ready. Kami ni Ms. Jill, nag-uusap-usap na kami. Ano ba susuotin natin sa gala night? So I hope that you're also preparing for that. And of course, our CEO Summit is open to our CIA members and non-members. And our executive passes are now available. Please message Ms. Chris Anonuevo. And the details about the registration fee is also available on our CEO Insights Asia official page. And of course, our operator will be sending the Summit invitation link. So please save that link. Go to that link and register for our CEO Summit. There you have it. I'm just so excited for the CEO Summit and looking forward to really meet everyone that day. And of course, bago tayo mapunta talaga doon, mag-imagine ano, ano mangyayari sa CEO Summit, let's go back to what's going to happen for today. All right. And I think we have, if I'm not mistaken... We go to the next part, and this is the most awaited part for the day, our faculty discussion. As shared earlier, today's topic, we are going to talk about leading with different hats, the operator, and our faculty. We know him, but it's still with always great pleasure to introduce him to everyone. 
Our faculty is one of the founders and the executive advisor of CEO Insights Asia. Four words. Ulit, ulit ko talaga tong sasabihin. Four words to best describe him. Investor, advisor, husband, and daddy. The man who iconized the black suit and the red tie. No other than Sir Fa, Mr. Florentino A. Hernando. Woohoo! All right. Diba? Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Principles of Scaling. Thank you, love. Grabe, ramdam ko rito. Ang excitement ni love. Game na game na. We're very excited for CEO Summit. And I'll share mo- more about that a bit today. Ayan, sige. So, thank you. Happy Friday ha, sa mga nandito ngayon at sa mga nanonood sa Facebook natin. Ayan, yung mga nagko-comment. So there, uh, for those who are in the Facebook, kindly like. And share naman natin para we can reach more people for this session. Ayan. So, warning ang ko na kayo dito sa session na to ha, bago tayo mag-umpisa. Because I was, while I was preparing this, sabi ko, the, the, the focus for this month is all about leadership. And uh, the, the topic for this episode is operating in excellence. So, sabi ko, leadership excellence. Ko, is there a way that I can make this as uh, not as intensive as it used to be or as as the others kasi medyo heavy to eh. Kaya lang wala talaga akong magawa eh. So hang on to your hats. This will be one session where you don't want to miss a single diba, uh, slide na pag-uusapan natin. So formally introducing myself, my name is Florentino A. Hernando. I'm one of the founders and the executive advisor of CEO Insights Asia. And this is our purpose. Our purpose is infusing ideas that build lasting companies. Uh, we want to build something that we can transfer to our children and our children's children. It's going to be a multi-generational company. You know, that's our legacy play. And um, you know, mga gagawin natin uh, the rest of uh, uh, the our lives until Jesus comes first. Kung ano man ang mauna. <laughs> Ayan, sige. So, um, before I give to the, uh, go to the agenda, sa uh, medyo, while I was preparing for this, sabi ko, medyo intensive to. Parang, kailangan kong ano, kailangan ko nang may kasama ko na habang nagpe-prepare dito. So, good thing naman na dumating na ang aking order na, Kakao Misty. Ayun, may plug pala. May plug. Ayan. Kakao Misty by Grammar. Grabe, ganda naman nito. Oh, ganda ng packaging. Ayan, kakao promise, masarap to. Seryoso. So, uh, uh, available to sa Shopee, Lazada, at saka order na lang kayo kay Miss Mel. Promise, stay, I mean, seriously, uh, matindi, matindi tong kakao mix. Uh, bawas-bawas mo ng coffee kasi medyo, ano eh, medyo stressful tong month na to. Kaya ang gagawin natin, medyo kakao muna tayo. And kakao helps me in my blood pressure. Kaya alternative to para sa mga, ano, sa mga fish oil. Ayan. <laughs> Sige. Alright. Agenda sa tayo. Puro mga kalokong ano pinagagawa natin. Sorry na. Okay. Agenda sa tayo. Conversation starter. Diba? Magkakaroon tayo ng isang katanungan na kung saan nandito ang uh, Chief Operating Officer ng uh, Arkesi, si Miss Jill, para magpa-high blood sa inyong lahat at mapa-order kayo ng cacao mystery. Ayan. So, mag-quick recap tayo after she answers the question. We'll talk about excellence and what it is not. Kasi behind the scenes, we're having this conversation. Sabi namin, uh, we don't want to have a misconnotation about excellence. Well, excellence is not perfection. We'll talk about that later. So, um, ito, excellence is not. We'll define what excellence means. We'll talk about the truths about excellence. Then, we'll talk about the killers of excellence. What kills excellence ba? And there are five. And if you've been following me, I've already given the first three. So I'll be sharing the last two dito sa episode na to. And then we'll talk about the keys to operational excellence. And then we'll get practical. Ayan. So nakita ko si FM nandito kanina. FM Ramento, shout out sa'yo. Di ba? Uy, si ano? Charlone Sabayton, yan, ang uh, uh, e, uh, executive uh, associate ni Mr. BK Rivera. Di ba? Ang titindi ng mga TikTok ni Sir BK. Grabe naman. Yan yung person behind the scenes. Yan, si, si JR. Sige. So with that, tradition natin, we want to greet one another a good morning. So please type good morning and then represent your company. 
para naman makita natin sino ang nandito. Ihabang niyo yung kumpanya niyo doon sa Facebook. Ayan, di ba? Nakikita ko na kayo ngayon. From G-Up, nandito si Sir Ruel at hopefully si Mrs. nandito rin, si Miss Melanie kasama niya. Ayan, good morning, good morning from Arkesi, Ripple Kids. Ayan, nandyan tayo, di ba? Sino pa? Okay. Ang daming, ang daming good morning. <laughs> Ayan, Sellers Hub. Nandito, of course, hindi mawawala yung mga yan. MN Starnet Corp. Nandyan, Sam Enterprises. Ako, buti naka, uh, nakarating ito. Uy, si Mark. Nandito. Mark, kamusta? <laughs> Kwentuhan mo ako, Mark of Mitari. Ayan, SK si Boys. Diba? Ayan. Uy, si Mami Brish. Nandito. Saira. Opa, Aloro. Ayan. Sige. So, with that conversation starter tayo. Ayan. So, share the most frustrating experience you had recently and I give the floor to Ma'am Jeline. Ma'am Jeline. Yes. Hi, Sir Fa. Good morning. Can you hear and see me clearly? Tarang claro, making claro. sure. Okay. Sige, medyo nakaka-trigger yung tanong na to, no? <laughs> Umagang-umaga, natitrigger tayo. Share the... And recently pa talaga yung tanong, so medyo I have to share yes, this friend. one. <laughs> okay. The most frustrating experience you had recently. I cannot be very specific kasi medyo confidential yung mga bagay-bagay. But uh, first thing I'd like to share is about... It's really frustrating if it's really out of my control. I cannot do anything about it. <laughs> Kahit magpambling pa ako dyan or something. Basically, the incident is we, had, we have a third-party supplier. So it's not within the company, not within our payroll. And we, are, we avail their service. Something happened. A major thing happened. And after that, yung wala man lang masyadong courtesy to do a lot of effort to remedy the situation. Mm. So, yun yung very frustrating about it and uh, in a way, slightly, uh, not slightly, unresponsive then. So, ha, okay. Yun na lang po muna. Baka masyado oh. tayong matrigger for today, sir. Ba? Yun oh. na lang po muna. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nakakahiya naman kasi sa kanila. Istorbohin natin sila, di ba? <laughs> Parang awa nila, gawin niyo yung trabaho niyo. Di ba? Mga ganon, nakaka-trigger talaga yun, di ba? Actually, we, we all have this uh, right before this session. Si Direk Frank eh, nags- <laughs> nagsasabi na, sabi ko, sabi ko sa isip ko, wag na si Frank, wag ko nang tatanongin si Frank kasi baka kung ano pang mangyari, di ba, maubos lalo yung mga umatid ng principles of scaling natin. Ayan. So, share the most frustrating experience you had recently. Okay, thank you for that, Ma'am Jill. So, as we proceed, let's do a quick recap first. The series is all about leading and operational excellence. So, medyo intensa. Last week, we talked about uh, the architect. You know, and the summary of that session is we as leaders are architect of the enterprise in a sense that we design the culture, the mission, whatever the culture, whatever is happening inside an organization, it's always our fault. We either allowed it, you know, we created it, or we tolerated it. Whatever the case may be, we are the ones who decide who to invite and who to disinvite inside our organization. We are the ones who decide what behaviors we allow and we disallow inside our organization. So we are the architect of the enterprise. And great leaders create a culture of being missional. Missional is building institutions for legacy because the more you are alive, the longer you're alive as a company, the longer and more profitable you are, the more money you get in the long run. Kaya tayo, being missional is not simply feeling good. It's really very practical. Okay, so ito yung parang key message natin doon. To start, you must design a strong business model. But to scale, you must design a strong DNA. And that's what we've been teaching here at Principles of Scaling CEO Insights Asia. Bakit DNA? Because if you have the right DNA, the strong DNA, you attract the right people. And right people meaning those who match what you're trying to accomplish. And it's not pag wrong people, they're not simply incompetent. Hindi yun eh. Pag sinabi kong wrong people, hindi yan. Incompetent, pasaway, bad apple, no. They just don't fit to what you're trying to accomplish. Remember last week's uh, Magic Johnson session? Remember sabi niya, always run with the best. And he said that I fired the people around me because they were the right people during that time. But they are no longer the right people that I need to help me to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. So, ibig sabihin, they no longer match 
what were that what Magic Johnson was trying to accomplish. And look at your team. Are they the right people around you? Are they the people that can help you achieve what you're trying to accomplish? If not, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Uh, so when you have a strong DNA, you attract the people who match yours. And when you have the right people, seriously, nothing else matters. They will always find a way. Tested and proven ko yan two weeks ago. Shout out dyan kay Chris at kay Mel. Diba? Mayamang kami ngayon. <laughs> Ayan. So, grabe. When you have the right people and they are the people whom you choose to be stranded with, na kahit anong dilubyo ang dumating, too confident ka na itong mga kasama ko, just ko, okay na okay. We'll always find the way. If you have the wrong people, meaning they don't share your DNA, they will always find an excuse. And that's fine, you know? Ganun talaga eh. Yeah, so, we move on, di ba? I mean, shake hands. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you. But uh, we'll move on now. Kasi we have to, di ba? Alright, so there. So now, we're talking about leading with different hats. Let's talk about excellence. What excellence is not, first and foremost. Okay? Excellence is not simply your best. Excellence is not simply my best. Okay? Excellence is not about effort. Diba? I gave my best, but my guess, my best. Wasn't. But you get what I'm saying? Diba? Excellence means we deliver what is required. I believe it was John Wooden who said that. Diba? Sometimes it's not enough that we give our best. Sometimes we must do what is required. Good intentions don't count. They don't mean shiz. Nothing. Because everyone has good intentions. Even the, the devil has good intentions. But the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Good intentions don't count. Okay. Um, it, it, it's not simply giving. I think it's a Filipino culture. Binigay ko naman yung best ko eh. But yeah, but did you get the job done? Yun lang naman ang tanong eh. Results alone matters. So yun, execution is not your best. It's not my best. It's results. Second, excellence is not forever. Diba? Maliban sa aming mag-asawa, walang forever. Yo, diba? <laughs> diba? Walang forever. And when we say excellence is not forever, it means whatever is excellent now does not automatically mean they are still excellent. Salamat, Ruel. Ikaw nagturo sa akin yan, diba? Alam ko, tinuro sa yan ni Frank. Ayan, diba? Ayan. So, what is excellent now Hindi na siya excellent bukas because the world is changing. Constantly elevating our standards of performance. And if you're here, you're looking for an intensive raise the bar of performance standard session. Ito yun. Because this is really all about leading with excellence. Okay? So remember, this what we're doing right now, five years ago, ten years ago, this was breakthrough innovation. But now, Abnormal tayo kapag hindi natin ginagawa to, di ba? Parang ha, hindi ka nag zoom Paan labo? You know? So it's really, excellence is not, excellence is a moving target because the status quo is always imperfect. Never naging status quo. This, this current situation is never perfect. So we have to be clear that excellence now does not automatically mean excellence tomorrow but, or the next five years. And last but not the least, Ito ang gusto kong linawin. Excellence is not perfection. Jerome Casino! Good morning sa'yo. Shout out. Ayan. Thank you for watching Principles of Scaling. Shout out kay, uh, kay Vena. So what excellence is, uh, excellence is not perfection, hindi ibig sabihin error-free. Diba? Because nga, the, eh, diba? excellence is not forever. So ibig sabihin, was excellent now. Bukas, hindi na excellent. So eh, it's not error-free. There's learning curve. Diba? So we have to be able to really understand that being excellent Hindi yan, ano, when you're trying something new, obviously, hindi yan, hindi yan kagad excellent, di ba? When you're learning something, it's not already, uh, it's not immediately excellent. It's not perfection. Okay? So, klaro ba tayo? Please type perfection if you are still with me. Ayan! Di ba? Thank you for, yeah, perfection. Okay. So, let's define kung hindi siya effort, hindi siya giving your best. Although, you have to give your best, obviously. But you have to do what is required. Kasi if we give our best, tapos hindi naman nag-uwi na required, nagpagod lang tayo. Better not do it at all. Di ba? Use that to something much more uh, valuable. Yeah. So it's not effort. It's not forever. 
because it's always constantly changing and it's not perfection. So what is excellence? Excellence is this. Excellence is providing the highest quality output given the context and our capability. So ibig sabihin, itong mga ganitong ginagawa natin, it's sort of uh, normal for us right now. But if you go to a different country where there's no electricity, obviously you can't, ay hindi excellent, ay hindi capability nung, nung bansa nila yun or nung lugar nila yun eh. Does that make sense? No? So you have to consider the context as well as the capability of the person or the company. Diba? So that's what we're talking about. Eh. If you are a logistics company, we expect that you deliver. You don't give excuses, di ba? Kasi that's what we paid you to do. Diba? Otherwise, wag nyong ibenta. Wag kayong magbenta sa amin. Kasi ang ending is, di ba? Parang you're, 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 you're basically robbing us. Ayan. So, um, ayan. In, in, ano, uh, inefficiency is uh, felony. Ayan. Sige, I'll talk about that later. But you get what I'm saying? Excellence is providing the highest quality output given the context and the capability. Sabi ni Peter Drucker, what is the first and ongoing responsibility of a leader? It's to provide the best possible result given the resources at hand. So we gather, as leaders, we gather, what do we have? And what can we provide using these resources that we have, the people that we have? What can we do to its best, you know, utmost quality? You know, so if that's the case, then if you gave the utmost quality given your context, then that's excellent. Now, sometimes, we in our, in our mental model, nakikita natin na, you know, some people, I know I can do better, pero you know, I, I choose not to, then that's, that's not excellent. Okay? So, there. Okay, so some truths about excellent. Tatlo to. The first one, excellence is never an accident. Uh, it's, it's never by sheer chance. It's never by dumb luck. It's never by accident. Is always by design. Yan. Type nyo nga dyan. Excellence by design. Para alam naman nating nandyan pa kayo. It's always by design. Kasi if excellence happened ng accident, it means it's beyond our control. Kasi aksidente. Diba? Hindi natin na-control yun. And if it's outside our control, hindi siya repeatable. So if we cannot repeat it, then it's not really excellent in the long term. Excellence now, but ang game natin is all about consistency, less than intensity. Yan. So ayaw natin yung intense sa umpisa, di ba? Tapos after nun mag-fade out. The, the candle that is twice as bright burns twice as fast. Pansin niyo yun, mga companies, di ba? Oo, grabe, putok sa first four months, five months, six months, two years. Tapos after nun, wala na. Ganon. Intro. Intro. Huwag tayong intro voice. Ayan. Sige. Excellence is never an accident. Second, excellence, eto. So, so bloody difficult to install. But so easy to lose. Ay, nako. Totoo to, di ba? When you provide a standard, it's so hard. Pero ang daling ma- mawala. It's a truth. That's why we're the leaders. Because it, we're given this opportunity because we can do it. You know, you, parang pag nag-drive ka, you're in high speed. Diba? Ang hirap mag-build up ng momentum, pero pag tinanggal mo yung kamay mo sa manobela, uh, <laughs> diba? ang bilis, ang bilis mawala. Uh, so you have to put your hand on the wheel. That's, that's why we're leaders. You have to be hands-on. Not micromanaging. Uh, micromanaging is always breathing down the neck, but you're hands-on. You know what's happening inside your organization. Uh, so that's, that's what being hands-on means. Last but not the least, it's, easy, it's difficult to install but easy to lose. The third, ito, favorite ko to. Ouch! Ayan! May, may, mafanakit! Di ba? Excellence is simple. This is true. This is true. And I'm a simple guy. I, 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 I'm never, I wasn't the brightest, still am not the brightest person in our class. Uh, I read books and I keep reading them kasi hindi ko na-absorb kagad. So that's why you, you see me you know, quoting books from like 20 years ago, because I'm still reading them. Kasi hindi nga siya nagsisinkin ka agad. Eh. Medyo mahina yung comprehension ko eh. Diba? So, I want to keep things simple. Kasi pag simple siya, madali ko maintindihan, madali ko ma-actionan. And this is what I came uh, across, I think, 2018. No? Si, si founding chairman ng IBM, si Thomas Watson, talk of, he was asked, you know, this is senior, not the junior. He's the guy who built IBM to what it is now. 
um, IBM Thomas Watson Sr., he was asked, tinanong siya, sabi niya, how long does it take to achieve excellence? And his answer, one minute. And then he continued, you make up your mind to never again consciously do something that is less than excellent. So, you know, just to give you a background of how we prepare dito sa principles, you see the 40 minutes, uh, one hour session. What you don't see is the behind the scenes. You see the posters of Summit. What you don't see is the midnight conversation of the pubs and the postings. And dito si Sam, ang associate natin. She's the person behind the publications na sinishare natin. Okay? So, just to give you a background, well, well, how I prepare for my talk, hindi ko na isasama yung team. Hindi ko na isasama yung kasi yung sacrifices nila, like 9 a.m., andito na yan. Sila, sila James, sila Darwin, sila Frank. Frank, last night pa, galing pa sa kung saan yan. Sa konsumido pa yan kahapon. But uh, at still, he sent his uh, yung mga kailangan niyang gawin, di ba, para to deliver. Because we want to give you excellent principles of scaling. So Monday pa lang, I start thinking about my talk on Friday. I write, the, I write down my notes and then I publish a business lesson. So it's part of the, ano, it's part of the, the talk, no? And then Tuesday to Friday, yan, uh, uh, getting uh, information, idea while I'm walking. And then Thursday afternoon, 2 o'clock onwards, sarado na yan, plakado na yan sa akin because I'm preparing for my deck. Take me, it's a labor of love for me. Some people, like great speakers, they can do this like, what man? Mabilisan, I can. It's a labor of love for me. So inaabot ako ng 2M at hindi ako maharap dito nang hindi ko nirarant ito ng dalawang beses. Because that for me, I have to honor the people, yung mga mga associates natin, mga partners natin wake up at 9M, sila love. Tin yun naman si love, di ba? Hype na hype. Di ba? Magkikita kami niyan sa summit. Si, si, si Frank, you know, uh, sila Chris, sila Mel. I have to honor their time. I have to honor you, the, the 18 million na nanonood dito. I don't want to give you sloppy or crappy talk. That's why hindi tayo humaharap sa inyo nang hindi natin to dinadaanan. Now, you didn't need to know that, di ba? Kasi that's, ano eh, that's, that's none of your business, you know? But my point is, we do not, uh, we, we get tired too, but sometimes we get tempted na, ako na lang, siguro ako na lang. I get tempted na, okay na yung deck, pwede na yun. But then I get reminded of this quote. <laughs> so, but no, you don't, you know, excellence is never again consciously doing something that is less than excellence. All right, come on, let's do it again one more time. Tulog na si Johan kagabi, uh, may sakit yung anak ko, you know, but still, we, we, I, we run through this. Principles of scaling is all about consistency. Umulan, bumagyo, every, <laughs> every Friday yan, mga anak yung asawa ko, di ba? Uh, it happens, and uh, we thank you for the people who are uh, our guest faculty. What else? Um, it's all about consistency, you know. So yun tayo. Ayan. So far, so good. Please type so good if you're still with me. Ayan. Para naman alam ko. Sabi siya yung intense to eh. Sorry na. Ayan. Ayan. One minute. So yun. We are our own standard of performance. Yun ang gusto ko sabihin. Which we'll talk about later. So, excellence is simple. Tatlo lang yan. There has to be no defects. Walang palpak, walang anything. Diba? Excellence is no defects. Second, it happens on time. When we say we're going to do it. And last but not the least, least is be nice. Ayan. It's being nice. you know. So that's excellence. Walang defect, walang palpak, walang sabit. No matter how small. When we, we're going to deliver it, when we say we're going to deliver it, and being nice. So that's Excellence. Ayan. So, recap tayo. Excellence is never an accident. Excellence is difficult to install but easy to lose. And excellence is simple. Okay. So, now let's talk about the five things that murder excellence. Ano ba ang mga umapatay sa excellence? And you need this because you're CEOs. You want to know ano ba ang umapatay sa excellence culture ko, sa kumpanya ko. Kasi this is what's stopping me from growing to the next level. You want to know the top five? Please type top five. Yan. Para alam kong interesado kayo sa pag-uusapan natin. Ayan. Top five. Top five. Ayan. Dito sa Zoom. Maingay. Ayan. Dito sa Facebook. Ayan. Ah, may delay ka. Ayan. Okay. Sige, sige. Okay. So there. Number five is expectation. What do we mean by this? And I wrote about this on Monday. If you want to read about this, just go to my page and understand. Expectation. What do you mean by this? No one knows what excellence looks like 
or even cares. No one is held accountable pagka merong mediocrity. Diba? And that's the fastest way to perpetuate sloppy work. Diba? Walang nakakalam, ano ba itsura ng excellence? And no one cares what it looks like. If may sloppy work, no one is held accountable. So that's the fastest way to continue something mediocre. So there's no sense of expect. No one is expecting anyone. Dapat high level of performance. Walang ganon. So that's the first killer of uh, excellence. The second is exemption. Meaning, excellence is not applicable to everyone and at all situation. Pag may mga pinapalusot tayo, pag may mga binibigyan natin ng chance, ito na naman ako, high blood na naman ako. <laughs> diba? Kasi makakaw ko. Diba? Pag may pinapalusot tayo, kasi maliit na bagay lang naman, there is no such thing, there's no, uh, there no such thing as a small thing in the pursuit of excellence. If we've been doing this forever at may nakalusot pa rin, something's wrong. Yes, it's, it's like tightening the screws, sabi nga ni Amanda, magkausap kami nito kaninang alas dos ng madaling araw. Uh, yan, eh, that, uh, former founder ng Shopets. Yan. So it's tightening the screws. Sinihigpitan na natin yung tornillo para hindi siya sloppy, hindi siya wobbly. But would you drive a car na hindi mahigpit? Yung gulong, nakod! Pamilya oh, oh. ako. No? So you want everyone in your organization to doing talagang slap hindi sloppy work talagang you know you you run a tight ship okay why is it important you know and i i i i, I had this uh, i missed this i had this a uh, uh, french proverb i believe a 14th century proverb rather that i shared during the face to face uh, session summit about 5 years ago and then i was reminded of this ito so sabi niya diyan for want of a nail the shoe was lost For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the message was lost. For want of a message, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the war was lost. For want of a war, the kingdom fell, and all for the want of a nail. One nail cost someone his kingdom because they didn't have one nail Walang sapatos yung kabayo. Dahil walang sapatos yung kabayo, walang kabayo na gagamitin yung rider. At dahil walang rider, hindi narile yung message. At dahil hindi narile yung message, natalo, yung battle, natalo sila sa battle and then the war was uh, lost. And they lost the kingdom all because of a nail. So here's my point. you know Here's my point. It doesn't take many holes to sink a ship. And it doesn't need to be a big one too. Saan ang butas sa ating organizations? Diba? Yung mga pinapalusot natin yan, hindi yan mawawala ng kusa o kaya exempted. Ay, CEO, okay lang, sloppy work. Na. Nako, di, de, ins, pwede yun. Diba? Which is the third session. But my point is, ay, pwede, palusotin mo na. Ano, kaibigan eh, di ba? O matagal na eh. Uh, well, ganun, pagka luxury lahat. Di ba? Nako, na-trigger na naman ako. Anyway, ganun eh, pag may pera. You know? Pero pag wala ng pera, nalulugan yung kumpanya, naghihigpitan na. Ayan na, 'di ba? Nagkakabuisitan na. I mean, let's let's be real. Uh, mag-asawa pag walang pera, nag-aaway 'yan. 'Di ba? Kaya sabi nga, yung sinabi ni Nani, payaman tayo, 'di ba? <laughs> Kasi importante, money may not buy happiness, pero maraming attached diyan. So, payaman tayo, 'di ba? So, my point is, you don't want, you know, it's what you do before the storm comes. Diba? Tsaka na kami mag-excellent pagka nandiyan na yung bagyo. No! Diba? The, that's where we we are shown dun sa crisis na yun, sa boxing ring. Dun tayo nakikilala kung sino tayo. Hindi, it's, it's what we do as we prepare. Dun lang lumalabas kung sino talaga tayo. Anyway, so far so good. Peace type so good. If you are still with me, ayan. Ay, ano oh, nangyari? Sino? Napindot ko? Sorry, sorry. My bad! Ayan. Okay. There we go. Ayan. So, as we move on, ayan, ikli lang tayo. Napindot natin. Ayan. So, there. Number three. Uh, recap tayo. It's, uh, it's, um, the first one is expectation. Second is exemption. The third one is example. Ayan. Diyos ko naman. What do we mean by this? 
We mean that as leaders, we are not modeling excellence. Uh, I, I, I had this conversation with, with uh, one of our client partners. Diba? Na-realize sina, buti naman na-realize sina. Sabi niya, ano eh, kailangan namin gumising ng maaga, alas 9, kasi parang hirap namin i-demand yung mga tao na magtrabaho kayo samantalang kami, alas 12, tulog pa kami. Hi! Di ba? We, we lead. The only way to lead is by example. We're never going to ask you something that we haven't done or we're not gonna do ourselves. You know, so when we say something here, this is really born out of our experiences, the lessons that we learned here. Uh, hardcore leadership lessons. We're not gonna ask you yung nabasa namin o yung sinabi ng idolo namin, alam yung, uh, world-class speaker. Hindi, pinanggagalingan talaga na galing kami rito. That's why we're sharing this. Because the reason why we can share, this is our platform. We can share because we've experienced it. And ganun din tayo. The only way for us in our company to demand excellence is when people look at us and they see excellence. Okay? So, and when we say excellence, excellence at all levels. So, hindi lang CEO with me, excellent. Kayo mga nanonood, excellent. Next level, sasaluhin. Hindi po pwede yun. Well, I mean, pwede yun if that's what you want. But if you want to grow to the next level, excellence must be at all levels. CEOs must model excellence and demand it from their execom, their trinity. Execom being demanded by excellence must demand it with their supervisors and their managers. And supervisors and managers, because they are demanded of excellence, must demand it to the front lines. That's how we create operationally excellent organization. Ayan, dumadami. Gusto nyo ako high blood. Gusto nyo ako high blood ako. <laughs> Ayan, so leading by example. Ayan. And here's the thing, no? when it comes to being an example, the second, uh, the second killer is expertise, meaning we want excellence, but we're not investing. We're not training our people to be excellent because we don't believe na tayo dapat nag improve or, okay, maybe sinasabi natin yun, but at the end of the day, it's not what you say. It's what we do that counts. Diba? So that's the most important thing. At the end of the day, we listen to what people say, but we believe what they do. And the most important investment you can make in building excellence is investing in ourselves. Because, last, like what we talked about last week, leaders are exponential multipliers. Diba? People are multipliers already. Yung mga tao natin sa team natin, they multiply. Ang tanong nalang, ano minumultiply nila? Cost or revenue? Now, when it comes to leadership, exponential multipliers yan. So tayo, ang tanong, ano minumultiply natin? Are we multiplying mediocrity? Or are we multiplying excellence? Now, you want to know the answer to that? Look at your organization. If you see mediocrity, look in the mirror. If we see mediocrity, if you we we see sloppy execution, look in the mirror because that's what we're multiplying. But if we see high caliber people, man, that's what we're multiplying. And we believe in investing in our leadership so much that yesterday, grab it oh, grab it. Does it was a Zoom meeting, but the, the atmosphere in the room was electrifying. We have Marvin Galang, we have Steve C for the summit, Paco Magsaysay, diba? si Linyu Chevrolet, and uh, si Catherine of Bepo. Yan ang mga faculty, si BK. O, oh, hindi na kailangan pakilala pa si BK. These are the people who will be speaking at the summit because we believe that for an organization to be excellent, may salamat sa pag-heart, Ruel. Ayan. So we believe for an organization to be excellent, the leader must be excellent. And for the leader to be excellent, game, ayan. Good morning, BK. So for a leader to be excellent, we have to have excellent infusion of insights from the excellent, from people who's been there, done that. Diba? Steve, si palang, bawi na yung 15K natin eh. Diba? Tsama mo pa si Paco magsaysay. Bo bonus na lahat. Tapos ko, parang ako, ayoko nang magsalita. Eh. Ewan ko ba? <laughs> Makikinig na lang ako, pwede ba 'yon, 'di ba? Pwede ba? Hindi ko nga alam paano sosotin ko sa gala night eh. Nai-stress na ako. Eh. But this is what we believe in CEO Insights Asia. We're a non-profit organization. I'll say something more about that 
later. So this is the ano, the number one killer. Excuses, diba? Excuses ko ayoko na sabihin, you know, you know. We as leaders hate excuses, but if we hear people in our company making excuses, guess what? That's what we multiplied. Diba? Wag tayong magugulat kapag kami nag-excuse, 'di ba? pag excuse bakit? Kasi tinolerate natin yun eh. Again, we as leaders are the architect. We get the behaviors we create or tolerate. Ayoko niyan. Ayan. Diba? We get the behaviors we create or tolerate. So if there's as a culture of excuse, hindi, hindi yun execution. Excuse yun. And that's not what we want. Now, if they're not delivering, look in the mirror. Kasalanan natin to. So here's what I want you to take home. Ito, if you have time to make excuses, then you have time to build excellence. Yan. So I, I want you to screenshot this and post this. You have time to make excuses, then we have plenty of time to build excellence. So those are the five killers of uh, excellence. Ah, right. So let me share a case study see you in Size Asia. No. So we're a non-profit organization and This, this past few weeks, we realized now we're, we're not really that hands-on, to be honest with you. None of us here are paid. Um, we're, we're doing this out of... Uh, we want to partner because we want to grow the ecosystem. This is not mine, not being clear. I'm one of the founders. This is not mine. This is as much as uh, Franks, as uh, RDs, as BKs, as it is mine, as Chris and Mel. This is our ecosystem. And the past few weeks, we've been learning now. You know, we're talking about principles of scaling. We're talking about Um, operational excellence and we have to model that even though we're non-profit because some people say eh, non-profit naman tayo non-profit does not mean non-performance that's a bunch of nonsense yung kasi yung understanding eh. dapat non-profit ka so non-performance ka okay lang yun kasi non-profit no we chose to be non-profit we better deliver non-profit so because of that we tighten the screws So let's be, ano, we're talking about scaling. Let's model principles of scaling. Lahat ng tinuturo natin dito as an organization, we are applying it first. So we created this uh, flywheel. We engage the principles of scaling. We equip with DNA workshops, in culture with circles, and then empower with executive education. So yan ang loop, infinite loop. Diyan lang tayo iikot. Okay? And then we started creating, uh, we, we now started implementing scorecards. We have these scorecards. But now we're implementing it. In fact, we have partnership agreement and being the leader, I'm the first to, write, to sign up dito. So before I give the partnership agreement committing to one year of being the executive advisor of CEO Insights Asia, before giving it to others, I signed it first. I am volunteering. I am not a volunteering. I'm being a partner of CEO Insights Asia because we want to exhibit operational excellence and professionalism in the non-profits. Like Harvard, Harvard's not a non-profit. It's a non-profit. Mayo Clinic, they're non-profit, but they're center of excellence. And that's what we're dreaming here. That's the vision for CEO Insights Asia, to be a non-profit, an ecosystem where people who join here will be filled or will be infused with excellence to operate in excellence. So this is what we're now going towards. Uh, tapusin lang natin yung summit and then we'll formalize this. Yan. So let's define operational excellence and then we'll get practical. So ito yun. Operational excellence, what does this mean? It's defined as the process of executing a business strategy more consistently and more reliably than competition, resulting in increased revenue, lower operational costs, and uh, operational risk, and lower operational cost. Yan. So, mouthful, highlight na lang natin. Yan. Operational excellence about consistency and reliability than intensity. Ibig sabihin, alam mo, every Friday at 10 a.m., may principles of scaling maasahan mo yun. Diba? Kasi reliable tayo, consistent tayo. Sabi nga nila, <laughs> di ba pag Sunday, nag-church ka. Pag Friday, nag-church ka rin sa business side naman. Ayan. So this is the church for business. <laughs> Ganun yung nagiging conversation na. Resulting, anong result? Because your operation is excellent, it results in increased revenue, lower operational risk, which means higher profit, and then lower operating cost because we're very efficient. So that's why it's very important that we have this in our organization. You want to be operationally excellent. So there, this is the summary. An organization filled with people who do... May sermon din kay Friday. An organization filled with people who do exactly what is expected of them in terms of timing and output. 
Walang labis, walang kulang, kung kailan sinabi, ganun ni expect 10 a.m. sharp, umaandar na yung timer yan. 9.50 rather, 9.55, umaandar na yan. 10 a.m. start tayo. Diba? Yan ang operational excellence. Because we're CEOs. Diba? We cannot expect our team to be on time. We cannot expect them to be excellent kung tayo mga CEO. Hindi natin minomodel yun. We cannot expect them to grow and scale kung tayo as leaders hindi nag-grow and scale. In short, operational excellence is clockwork execution. Parang orasan. Pansin mo, pagka ano, ito, just, just to give you a background or a tip, paano mo malaman operational excellence ang isang tao? Tignan mo yung kalendaryo. Ano yung naka- Pag walang kalendaryo yan, dako, na tayo umasa. Huwag na tayong umasang organize yan. Great organization is a hallmark of a great organization. Sabihin, ang magaling mag-organize, trademark yan ng mga magagaling na organization. So, you organize through calendar. Okay, so let's get, ano, three key so operational excellence. Ito, number one, do show, don't tell. Again, actions, di ba? Not activities. Ayan, and do it. Don't, don't, don't just talk about it. Do the thing until it's done. Eh, hindi yan tapos, <laughs> hindi yan sale hanggat hindi nagbabayad yung customer. Okay, kung binigay <laughs> Kung binigay yan, oh, nasa rider na eh. Tapos bumalik at yes, hindi, <laughs> hindi yan sales. Di ba? Kailangan nagbayad. So, we, pag meron tayong pinagawa, tapusin natin hanggang ending. Okay? Do the thing until it's done and last but not the least, do it better the next time. Yan. So, there. Yan. Do show, don't tell. Magic uh, triangle, sabi nga ni Cez. Do the thing until it's done, do it better next time. That's how you create operational excellence. Okay. So, let's get practical. Mabilis na to and then I will close. So, how do you create a culture of operational excellence? Number one, standardize. Establish the standards, meaning create the measurement of performance. Uy, andito si Ma'am Kat. Good morning. Dito ka pala. Ayan. Faculty natin yan for uh, uh, summit. So, measurement of performance. Okay, create a standard. Mahirap na hindi mo alam yung measure mo. Dapat may number, ha? Hindi feeling-feeling. So, there. Second, systemize. Expect. Diba? You reward excellence because the behavior that is rewarded is the behavior that is repeated. And I ask permission for this. Kaya salute tayo sa seller sabi. Eh. They created management mechanisms that reward performance. Hindi yung mga ano intention. Di ba? Wala tayong problema. We reward people. But after they earned it, earn muna. Di ba? Hindi yung ano, oh, i-reward kita. Hopefully mag-perform ka. Hindi ganun. You want to be operationally excellent, reward people who are operationally excellent. Well, they earned it. Yan, na regular si N. Kaya ang gaganda ng graphics ngayon eh. Di ba? Kasi si NL matindi. So that's what we want. You recognize people who earned it. Uh, systemize it. And last but not the least, in culture. What do you mean by this? Ulit-ulit ako. We mentor people and we model the behavior we expect to see. Uh, so that's what we want. Yes? Please type, yes, I. Ayan. Si Brian nandito. Ayan. Yes, I. Okay. So, here's the loop. Okay. I have seven minutes. Sige. So, standardize. After standardizing, make sure there's a system to reward the behavior we expect to see. And then, inculture it by talking about it, by modeling it. And then, that reinforces the standards. And it's an infinite loop. In closing. Ayan. Closing na tayo. So, Tayo, medyo family person tayo. So, um, we talk about operational excellence and it's applicable to all. You know, applicable in life, applicable in business. Kaya nga principles of scaling, it's a principle. Principio. Diba? It, we're just using business as an example, but it's applicable to life. So, last Monday, medyo nag-beach tayo. Ayan! Sarap, diba? Monday, nag-beach kami. Why? Because we can. <laughs> Ayan, diba? para sila nani tsaka sa Charles. <laughs> Nagpunta lang naman sa Sweden because they can. Ayan. Sige, so we we had this and then si, si, si Johan nagpapabili sa akin ng Peppa Pig. Oh, that's worth 1,000 pesos. And then ako, we're, we're training our our, 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 our our daughter to to really learn and value things. Diba? Medyo mahal yun for us. No? Palengking, ano, uh, barbing palengke ka lang, Peppa Pig na palengke ka lang, okay ka na. Kahit hindi marunong magtagalog yan, no? So we're homeschooling her and so on. So she's asking to buy us Peppa Pig. And then 
ay ay had no cash. Wala naman ako laging cash. Kaya yung wallet ko, pakalat-kalat. Wala naman kasi laman yun. Puro card ako. Okay, so I went and looked for uh, an ATM. So when I went to the ATM to to pay for, ano, to pay for the the meal and so on, first floor, do sa, do sa SM, um, ano siya, walang ano, uh, patay, patay yung ATM. So, sira. Okay, sige, akit ako second floor. Pag akit ko sa second floor, may nakalagay, bukas siya, pero nakalagay dyan, no money, diba? no cash. So, akit ako sa third floor. Third floor, doon ako nakakuha. And when I was going back, I was reminded of ATM. Sabi ko, parang yung mga kumpanya natin. Yan ang ATM natin eh. Diba? Yung, yung mga company, yan ang pinagkukuha na natin ng pera, pangbili natin ng Peppa Pig, pangkaya, pambayad natin sa pagkain ng mga uh, ng family natin when we go out. That's the company, yung ATM. Now, sometimes may mga company dahil because of not being operation excellent, nagsasara. So kahit may company, sarado, wala tayong pagkukuha na ng pera. Or, meron nga, umaandar nga, pero wala namang cash, hindi naman profitable, wala rin. It's useless. What we want are companies na parang ATM. Kasi doon tayo pupuha, eh, oh, na may lamang pera. At they, that's where our people, our teams, get money that they can provide, uh, that they can use to provide for their family. So pag mayroong isang hindi operationally excellent sa company na yan, or sa ATM, may isang pyesa dyan, hindi operationally excellent, affected. It goes the same with our company. Pag merong isa na hindi operational exit, affected lahat. And what do we do? Diba? What we need to do is hindi natin hayaan yun kasi yan ang pinagkukuha na natin ng pera. Eh. Kaya, ay, grabe yan. <laughs> diba? Yan ang pinagkukuha na natin ng pera so hindi natin hahayaan na may ibang tao na sasabutahin yan. Kasi dyan tayo kukuha ng pambili natin ng gatas. Diyos ko, ilang magtutuman sa anak ko tomorrow. Diba? So that's what you want, a company that is like an ATM. That is your ATM and you want it to be operationally excellent. So that's what we're trying to do here at CEO Insights Asia. And here's the vision and this is I'll close. What we want is for the CEOs here who attended. Thank you so much for uh, the, the 25 participants na, na sa Facebook at uh, dito sa, sa Zoom. You join here. We inject you the DNA of operation excellence. Kaya kinukuha natin sila Steve C, sila Kim Lato. Because we want to inject high level of standards of performance so that once we embody that as leaders, we model it, we bring it to our companies. And we bring it to our companies, we expect excellence from our companies, we inspire others to become part of it. And that's how you change a business culture. That's how you change an economy of a nation. Um, governments don't make money, they just raise taxes. They get their money from us business people and if we want to have a vibrant business uh, uh, economy we have to have a vibrant business ecosystem and to have a great ecosystem a vibrant business ecosystem it starts with us as leaders hindi natin pwedeng iasa to wala tayong aasahan tayo tayo to ay ba walang oy hindi sila sila na bahala diyan that it's not gonna work that's why we built this ecosystem So you will get an infusion of exceptional ideas every seven days. You take it home, you apply it to your company, your company becomes better, you you grow, you create more jobs, and that's as good as it gets for us. You know? So yeah, that's it. And here's my closer closing quote. The only way to win is to be the best. And the best way to win is to be the only. Google is the only search engine. Tesla is the only... Um, car, electronic car. Diba? Um, what else? Um, so that's what you want. You want to be the only. Yes? So with that, thank you so much for having me. Oy, I'm on time, ma'am love. Ah. Pasok ako. Thank you. Thank you so much, po, Sir Fa. I want to know if it's just me. <laughs> But every time I listen to Sir Fa, there's always something at the back of my head that saying louder for the people at the back. <laughs> And also, parang, there's a trigger na, okay, talagang gagawin to. It should be like this. Totoo, to, ganito talaga. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you so much po, Sir Fa. And now, let's have our inside sharer. Walang iba, kundi ako po. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. Sige, so, <laughs> insights from what Sir Fa just shared this morning. 
ewan ko talaga, para nagiging emotional ako sa mga discussion or topic ni Sir Fano. But anyway, that is one thing that you shared, Sir Fano, earlier before the start of the POS. And I believe this sums, sums up everything that actually you were able to share just right now. You, you mentioned excellence is the norm, not a surprise. Yeah. Excellence yeah. is the norm. Not should be, but is the norm, not a surprise. And I believe for us to be able to do that, I can think of three ways based on what you've mentioned also. Number one, we have to cultivate and adhere to higher standards of excellence for ourselves. And then from there, we transcend that excellence to the people around us, especially to our team and the people we closely work with. And then lastly, consistently apply that level of excellence in everything that we do, no matter how small, minor that task is, we always, always do it with excellence. No excuses. Wala. Like, walang, ano, excellence lang talaga. So, excellence is the norm, not a surprise. I look forward to really ha- working with a community, a company yeah. na normal yung excellence. Hindi na ako masyashock. Ah, ang galing. Ang galing mo pala. Wala nang ganun. Wow. Yes, magaling ka. Magaling kami. It's like that. Anyway, thank you so much, Sherfa. And I'm looking forward to our circle meetings next week. Ano mm. mas share ng mga circle members natin? Right. Basically, that's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, for Sherfa. And thank you to all of our Facebook Live viewers and yes. our um, audience here in Zoom. Thank you, thank you so much, Po. We hope to see you again next Friday for our POS. And next Friday, we're going to talk about leading with different hats, the talent. Multiplier. No. All right. Yes. There you have it. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye, folks. Happy weekend. Bye-bye.